China has seen a steady increase in high-tech foreign direct investments over the past decade, underpinned by policies to lower barriers and an improving domestic innovation ecosystem. Foreign high-tech companies are also increasingly tapping domestic sales opportunities, underpinned by China's strong consumption growth. Meanwhile, high-tech service FDI, which is currently largely backed by Chinese companies, may see large inflows should the barrier of licensing, the main obstacle to foreign investors' entry to the telecom sector, be reduced. Fitch expects China's dual circulation strategy to reinforce the government's stated desire to attract high-tech FDI. China's heavy reliance on high-value-added imports means localization is hard to achieve in the near term. Moreover, domestic investment alone may not be enough to help China narrow the technological gap in areas like semiconductor and aerospace. The majority of FIEs have not been investing in cutting-edge technology in China. And they are focused on the production of lower-value-added goods for processing trades. That said, Fitch expects FIE's R&D activities to increase as the Chinese government continues to promote innovation and improve IP protection to drive high-quality economic growth, as outlined in its 14th five-year plan. Foreign governments control on sensitive technology exports to China, and foreign companies worry of policy risk associated with China's involving regulatory environment, remain as hurdles to significant growth of FDI in more advanced areas of technology.